Man, oh man. <laughs> the one thing you can say is that the Elimination Chamber match for the dudes out there, all seven competitors gave everything they had. It was a really good match. We're going to WrestleMania 34. Um, right now, I think we're currently on the uh, probably the four-year plan of Roman Reigns. This guy is the big dog. He is the main guy of WWE. Uh, WrestleMania 30, he was still a part of the Shield. Um, he, he, WrestleMania 31, he would win the Rumble. He would be the main event guy uh, to go uh, up against Brock Lesnar. But due to uh, the cash-in by Seth Rollins, did not win the championship. Uh, WrestleMania uh, 32, he would beat uh, Triple H for the championship. WrestleMania 33, um, he would retire The Undertaker. Um, WrestleMania 34, he's going to be going up against Brock Lesnar. He is the guy uh, to win the Elimination Chamber. Um, this, this was a good chamber match. First time we ever had seven competitors in there. Um, you know, we had uh, Seth Rollins. We had uh, The Miz and we had Finn Balor start off the chamber match. Uh, we basically had that little interaction between The Miz trying to gain any uh, kind of advantage he could, trying to partner up with Rollins and then trying to partner up with Balor, only for Balor and Rollins to partner up and go after The Miz. Um, I don't know what the timing was uh, for uh, the guys to be going into the match. I, I always thought it was five minutes, but... Uh, both uh, of, of the chamber matches, bo both felt like they went by really, really fast. Um, this chamber match was ruled by Braun Strowman. They made Braun Strowman look really, really strong. And I know that basically at this point, everybody knows what happens in this match. I've already, I've already said it. Roman wins. But Braun eliminated everybody. But he couldn't eliminate himself. Uh, so Roman got the win. Uh, we saw Strowman. Uh, first eliminate The Miz, uh, then we saw eliminate uh, him and, uh, eliminate Elias, we saw him eliminate um, John Cena. Um, the, a big part of the match was the guys realizing that Braun Strowman was a force that needed to be uh, tackled. We saw the first four-man powerbomb, uh, much like the Shield uh, powerbomb, but this one involving everyone in the match picking up Braun Strowman. Trying to pin him, not working. Uh, from there, we go to um, uh, John Cena trying the AA. Um, you know, and that wasn't enough to put him down. Um, I don't know how you beat this guy, but I don't know where it goes to. Um, they saved it by at the end of the uh, the match when Roman was celebrating his victory. Braun came and attacked Roman Reigns, even though it seems like both of those guys are baby faces. They're never going to be friends. They're never going to be on the same page. I'm turning off Rosenberg right now. Boom. I don't even, uh, let me know if anything happens on Raw Talk. I am watching this two hours and 15 minutes after the pay-per-view ends because of the fact that I was, uh, I was late starting it uh, from hanging out with my mom. But, um... I don't know what you do with Braun. In my opinion, um, Braun Strowman is a guy that honestly, WrestleMania could be a bummer to this guy because how many times have we seen people in WWE getting the monster push and then all of a sudden WrestleMania comes around because they aren't in those top 10 competitors of WWE. Um, they get put into sort of like a, a boring match or they get put in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, or they're fighting on the pre-show. How many t times have we seen guys like The Miz getting heated up? Or how many times have we seen uh, John Morrison on the rise? How many times have we seen, um, you know, there's been countless guys, and all of a sudden they just get put on some match, all of a sudden it's not one of the big matches of Mania, so... They're on TV, but they're not getting the, the same kind of push that they were getting. And they get left behind, and they never really recover to where they were. And that's what I'm scared about with Braun Strowman. A little bit of a rumor of him tagging with Ronda Rousey. I don't really see that happening, so I'm not sure that that's going to be what, what goes down. But uh, we're going to see Roman versus Brock. Yet once again.
at WrestleMania 34. Um, you know, after Monday Night Rollins, with him going through, I thought maybe we were going to see that three-way. Um, but Braun eliminated him. I, I don't really see unless they make it a four-way, um, which seems a lot like SummerSlam without Balor. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure what they do. Um, maybe Rollins versus uh, Braun. Uh, but you know, Braun, somebody that's rumored to be a Rousey. Rollins was somebody that was rumored to be um, with Rousey. So uh, I'm not quite sure what they do. Uh, I'm a little bit speechless. I'm not sure. But a damn good match. Only, you know, as soon as the fans realized with the Superman punch by Roman Reigns that Roman was going to win again, they sure did turn on it. And you could hear the boos and people were not happy. Um, I, I was hoping that Balor was going to get in. Balor was not one of the last ones eliminated. He was eliminated before Rollins. Um, so uh, I was really hoping to see Roman versus Balor as the last two guys in the chamber. Didn't get that either. So I'm not saying this was bad. I'm just saying that I didn't get what I wanted, even though I knew it was going to happen. And we're seeing a match of mania that not a lot of people are going to be pumped for. So we'll see what goes down. Chamber, peace out.